Hey guys, so today we are trying to make gokumuli and for that we have two avocados, mostly ripe. Now to check if the avocado is ripened to the level it should be, just hold it in your hand and try to press through your thumb. Okay. Now you should see a slight press mark or an indentation on the avocado which means it is adequately ripened to get the gukamoli going. So see you there. This is a very simple and a fireless recipe and the ingredients that we need for this are very simple and few. A cucumber a tomato, a lemon, a mid-sized onion and a cup of coriander leaves. That's it. Let's go. So uh, we are taking the cucumbers here. Now while cutting just make sure that we are removing the watery content and the seeds from the cucumber. Just slice it out and then Cut the cucumber in as small squares as possible so that it gets well blended in the overall mixture. Like this. Now let's cut the avocado. Give it a cut from all the sides. open it the seed will come out on its own so what we have done now is we have cut all those ingredients like onion tomato and cucumber plus coriander leaves into square shapes small square shapes then the avocado what we've done is we've scooped out the whole pulp into a bowl and now what are we going to do is squeeze one full lemon inside the bowl on the avocado. Now as you can see we have mashed the avocado completely. Now we'll put all the vegetables, cut vegetables one by one. Onion. tomato coriander leaves after giving it a light mix add a tablespoon of olive oil and salt to taste And now just mix it well. We have added a pinch of pepper to make it a little spicy. If you want, you can also add a pinch of chaat masala to give it more taste. And the kokumuli is ready. You can have this kokumuli with nachos which is by far the best combination but I prefer having it as a sandwich and it is a hit with my 17 month old twins so I urge everyone to seriously give it a try it's a lovely recipe and it tastes out of this world thank you Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and do let me know in the comments section about your feedback on this recipe.